All right, it's time for another adventure. Right, right, buddy? Yeah, I'm ready. We got Jerry coming too, but we're going to a spot that uh, Buddy was at yesterday. It's the Silverfield. Check out what he got yesterday. We got a silver quarter, Walking Liberty, pocket watch, buckles, Norfolk and Southern button, I think. In the nest. Anybody got any comment on that? Let me know if y'all think that is what that is. We are believe in a large scent. I'm not sure what that is. An unknown brass object right there. And a ring guy there. Cool deal. Good job, buddy. All right, let's go get him up and see if we can find some more. Here we go. Oh, look who showed up. What's up, yours? Well, at least some of Pretty us have brother. to for a living, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to hit him up right now. Here we go. I'm a second hit today. 29.30. I like it. Let's go 90 degrees. 29 is staying very consistent. I like the sound of that one. I like it. Let's see what we got here. I like the sound of it. All right, sound like it might work deeper now. I'm not hearing it. Yeah, it's still down in the hole. That's a good sign. I like for it to be a little bit deeper because it's not something piece of uh, can slot that might just blew over here from the road. Oh, it's there. Look at that. Look at that. I like the sound of that. Nice and high, but it could be can slob, but in a round shape, baby. Oh, man, there it is. Just a big old piece of pipe. Nothing. Oh, man, that sounds so good. I dug something round in the soil here. I'm not sure what it is yet. Might be a, Indian, might be a weedy Indian head. Who knows? All right. We'll have to clean that up later. I can't tell what it is yet, but it is round. I think it is a coin. All right, let's check that in the closeout. Buddy, have you done any good this morning yet? Yeah, a little bit. A couple coins. couple coins? What you got? A couple Indian heads and, a, and the underwear button. Nice. Nah, Indian heads. I like it. They're probably 1800s. Awesome, man. All right, we'll check it out in the cleanup. Let's keep getting up. All right. All right, man. I got a great signal here. Like around 30. Then it started jumping even higher. Padlock. Might be old, though. We'll clean it up. I can't tell what it is yet. We'll, we'll clean it up and check it out in the closeout. All right, buddy. Just yelled out silver. Let's come check it out, what he's got. Oh my gosh, a big silver, man. Holy smoke. Look at that. Was that Walking Liberty? Awesome, man. Good job, buddy. Man, buddy is killing it this morning. Any heads? Silver? Man, right. you're doing good, brother. Keep it up, man. Awesome. All right, buddy's got me excited. He's found silver. So you know what that means to me? You know what that means, buddy? What's that? I'm getting picky on my t on my targets now. <laughs> I'm gonna get picky. Uh, I'm cherry, cherry picking. I'm cherry picking for a little bit anyway. See if we find some silver. All right, let's do it. All right, got me hitting a hole. Got it dug out, and I see something around right there. Can y'all see it? It's buried in that clog right there. I knew it was in this clog. It's coming out right now. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's do the penny penny roll here. The pants roll rather. See, we can clean it up for us to see it anyway. All right, we'll have to clean up a little bit more just to see what we got here. It could be an Indian head. Can't really tell yet. Let's see if we can clean up a little more. Just enough to see what it is. We'll clean up good when we get home. I'm thinking Indian head. I'm not sure though. All right, we're gonna bag it up and check it out when we get home. I usually don't film too many, but I tell you what, when I get these ones like this, 31, 31, 31, didn't even change one decimal. 30, 30, 30. Went right on top of it. 30 one way, 30, 31 one way, and 30, 31 the other way. That is one consistent hit. It could still be like a copper pipe or something. That happens, you know. But I tell you what, I like that number. That number is good. I like it. All right, let's see if we got out on the first shovel here. No, it's not out of the ground. It is not out, but it is an awesome number. I love it. Best number of the day. Most consistent number of the day, too, I think. So, we, uh, we might have something here. I don't know. Uh, it's out kind of high there it's in that top clog so i don't know i don't like that part but oh there it is i'm not sure what it is i see it there's a piece of copper i think that's a buckle or what that is right there 
But it's kind of cool though. Probably 1800s. All right, let's back it up and keep moving. All right, here we go again. 30, 30, 29, 30. Jumping just a little bit. 90 degrees, still staying real, very consistent. We saw the last one, well, if I showed you on the video here, it was a big chunk of brass, which this could be too, but uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to uh, get it up here and see what we got here. Okay, let's see what we got. See if it's still in the hole. Now it's out. Unfortunately, I was hoping, I like these nice deep ones, that way you know it might be coming from somewhere deep. Yep, oh, it looks like it could be a buckle maybe. Let's check it out. I see it right here. Does y'all see it? All right. I think that's gonna be a buckle there. That is gonna be a buckle. Look at that. That's some type of buckle right there. Old 1800s buckle. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's back that. Keep moving. That's just good numbers. I got to dig them, man. Got to dig those. That's what I'm looking for. 29, 30, perfect numbers, man. That's what you're looking for right there. All right, Jerry. You've been awful quiet over here, buddy. Jerry's been digging away. That's you got anything summer. good? Got Show something me something good, man. Got a real. Oh, no. yeah, that looks like a nice real there, <laughs> man. My, but we wish beat. right there. It got his heart going on that one. But he does have a silver quarter. That's two silvers out of here today. Awesome. I got two of my favorite. Nice. Non coin. Oh, notes. yeah, I got two. a couple. I got something similar to that, too. I love That's cool. Those. Yep. That one like, must be a lot off. of horses around here because I got oh, yeah. a couple horse things, too, I think. Cool deal, man. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Good job, man. Good time. All right, we've moved to a new place. And uh, we're going to hunt this here. This is the area that Buddy found a Virginia button and some civil bullets been found here. What do you think about a Virginia button, Buddy? Man, that's my first one. It's a great find. Man, that's awesome, man. Always like to get that first. Buddy's found a lot of firsts lately, honey, you, Buddy? Firsts, yeah. A lot of firsts. But anyway, we got to hit this field now. And Jared's already up there hitting it right now. And uh, we're going to see if we can't find one right in the area where we got that Virginia button. So we'll see if we can find another one right now. Stay tuned. All right, I think we got something round here. Let's check it out. It looks like it's going to be a round coin, I hope anyway. Let's see what we got here. Could be a button too, though. I don't know if do. we have found some buttons in here. All right, let's see if we can wipe it out here. I think I might see. Yes, I think in that right there. Let's see if it's a weedy. I'm going to check a weedy. Yep, that's a weedy. I think that's number three for the day. All right, let's bag it up. All right, y'all seen me found these not long ago. Check it out. It's a ladies' compact. Opens up this hinge right there. You can see the hinge, and that's some kind of some kind of stuff for the face or something probably. It's got some design on it though. Give me a good read, and I can tell you that. All right, let's bag it up. Man, it'd be nice if that was a large center or something, but it's a compact. All right, we got another little round object here. Let's see what we got. It's probably another weedy. I'd like to see an Indian head, though, is what I'd like to see here. I don't know. It could be. It could be an Indian head. I'm not seeing Lincoln yet. But it's early. All right, we're going to have to clean that up a little more. I think it's probably a weedy, though. Yeah, it looks like it could be a weedy right there. Yeah, it's a weedy. Bummer, I thought we get, might get us a ending here for so with, but I think it's a weedy. All right, let's back up and keep moving. All right, we're still at this house, hunting them around. It's a pretty old house here, well, 18, late 1800s probably, and showing some stuff that, see, Jared found a nice little ornate piece of uh, furniture or something, maybe a thin old for some type of a piece of furniture. You also got a nice buckle. Uh, it's a bunch of weedies. Check out them weedies you got. Uh, is that a... Um, what is that right there? Is that another buckle piece or something? That was like a suspender piece or something. Yeah, suspender or something there. And a marble. That's kind of cool. All right, we're going to head out to a third spot right now. Stay tuned. All right, we found a few clay pigeons this field. We're going to play. All right, ready? Pull! No! <laughs> Come on. Oh, to you. Yeah! <laughs> Go. All right, bingo! All right, pull! Oh, 
we'll find a third field and see what we can find right now. Here we go. All right, we just pulled up to our third spot. Got a hit right here by the truck. Dug it up. It has a pretty good hit, too, in it. And it uh, looks like it's a little airplane. Looks like it's got a wheel on it right there, I think. What do y'all think? I'm going to clean up and check it out, but it looks like a, a air, uh, one of those um, you know, bombing jets right there. All right. There's we'll an check. eagle flying right there. He just took off out of the tree right there. He's flying right there. Isn't that cool? Eagle, baby. That's good luck right there. He's showing us where to go. He's roosted up in a tree right there. We'll go check right underneath his feet. See if we got something. Hi, I'm walking through the woods. Found an old gravestone. You sit here in the middle of the woods. Nothing even around it right here. And uh, died 1872. 56 years old. She was a, I say, and loving wife. She was kind and loving wife and affectionate mother. And a humble Christian. Man, lay in peace, Linda. Lydia. Alright. We're going to look around this area just a little bit off to the side here. There's supposed to be a house site somewhere here, but I don't see it. Some big trees here. Look at the size of that tree there. The size of oak there and oak there. So some big trees in here, but I don't see a house site yet. Alright, here's a little bit of a trash dump. Bottles everywhere. Trash over there. Not from the 1800s, though. That's for sure. Definitely later, late 1900s maybe or something. But uh, definitely some people have been back in here near this grave site. I see some more bottles and trash over there. But uh, not what we're looking for, so we're going to move on. Alright, we just got a hit. Got something around. I see an edge. It could be a button. It could be a coin. Don't know yet. Got to check it out. Uh, looks looks bigger than a coin, I think. Yeah, I think it might be a button. Some kind of button. And it might be a two-piece button, and that's the back, maybe. Let's clean, get my glove off so we clean it up a little bit here. All right, I'm not sure. It could be a two-piece. Might be a one-piece. All right, we'll clean up check that in a close out here. All right, I got unknown piece of brass. I think it's brass. I'm not positive. But it looks like it's got like a little piece at the top, you know, like a spoon handle or something, potentially. I'm not sure. It's kind of wide, though. It seems like it should be sharpening if, it's, if it was that. We'll clean up see if it's got any kind of writing on the back or anything, but eh, it's not too bad. We'll have to check it out. All right, we're out here in the middle of the field. Check this out right here. Y'all know what that is, right? That is a turtle shell, and I don't know if something's actually poked a hole in an 80, maybe. It's pretty tough, but... I guess an eagle or a um, a hawk might better do that. I don't know. It looks like something might have got into him. Though. Got to him. Man, he's a nice sized turtle too. Look at that. Nice show. Oh well, that's life I guess. Alright, let's keep moving on. Alright, Jerry's doing some serious examining here. Some of the stuff he's found here. Oh, a nice little ring. Copper ring. That's cool. The 1922 dog tag, Virginia dog tag. Oh, wow, that's 1922. Cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure what type of button that is. Ah, I got one. Kind of similar to that I just found. A rivet. A rivet. Nice flat button with a shank Oh, that is back. a nice flat button there. Yeah, good job, man. Yeah. Nice, good job. Put it there, brother. Yeah, All right, man. Keep getting up, man. Good job. All right, look what I just saw pop out the ground. It's a quarter for sure. But the question is, is it silver? I don't know. Let's see up here. I rub the edge out on my pants and we should be able to see. Oh, I see copper on that. Oh, man. I thought sure we get some silver off of that. All right. Let's bag it up and keep going. Uh, I think Jerry's holding out on us. It's a Mercury Merc uh, dime. All right. Nice. That's uh, two silver for Jerry today. That's not bad. Can't beat that. And, and an imitation uh, real. <laughs> man, look at that silver. That's some pretty stuff right there, man. Yeah. Imitation real. Yeah, man. Nothing wrong with that silver right there. Good job, man. Thank you, thank you. Might get a few more for the days out. Who knows? What do you think, buddy? I think it could be more. All right, let's keep hunting. Here we go. All right, you move around the front of the house. I put my shovel in the ground. I thought to hit something, so I backed up and hit it again, popped it out, and it's a buckle. But you can see where my shovel hit it right there. That's where I hit when I went down, and I backed up and went in front of it. But I did scratch it right there, but it's a deep buckle, probably 1800s. That's not too bad to find. I like that. All right, let's bag it up and keep getting up. 
All right, I guess we'll call that a wrap. What do you think, fellas? Good day. Good, good day. We had a good time. And we found a few finds, too. Uh, Buddy went out yesterday to one of the fields. We hit three fields a day, and Buddy hit one of them. We got, we'll show his stuff here, too, that he got yesterday. We showed it at the very beginning of the video. But he ended up getting a, a standing liberty yesterday. They got a standing liberty today. He also got a couple weedies yesterday. Y'all saw that at the beginning with a pocket watch. Uh, standing liberty here. I got two weedies. Buddy, you jump right off the bat then. You got two weedies and a, a standing liberty within within 10 minutes Ten right minutes. off the bat and got it. Slowed up a little bit after that, but you know, right after that, sometimes that happens, you get right off the beginning and get a hard hit, and then next thing you know, you can't find anything. It happens all the time. And this is, a, I guess, a ring guide for a, um, it's got some design on it around the outside edge, too. It's kind of cool looking for a horse right there. And uh, Jared, what do you got here, man? A variety of stuff. He did get a variety of stuff, man. Uh, that buckle looks nice. That's a nice buckle right there. Got one of those rivets. A lot of Wheaties. Um, some buttons, nice buttons in here. Uh, some ring guys for the horses. He actually got this one uh, ring. It's actually it's a copper. Back in those days, I guess he used to make a lot of rings out of copper. But uh, he did get two silvers. He beat us on the two silvers today. He got a um, 1918, 1918 Mercury, Mercury and a uh, 45. 45 Washington. Nice. And an imitation Real. We wish, right? He said, "Heart got your heart pumping, right?" I, I, I was dizzy. Oh I man! And a little piece off of furniture, I think. All right, now I got ended up with a couple buckles here, a deep buckle and another buckle, and this is a horse uh, rope guide right there. I got a modern cord. Mine's not silver. I, Gig Master got no silver today. Uh, got a block. I got this little compact here. I, you saw me find that compact the other day, but this is some old lady's compact right here. Y'all see that? A little compact. Might be some coins underneath the dirt. Yeah, I really had to check that out. Buddy, check it out. Make sure we ain't got no coins in there. And did, did some uh, pottery. I just I like showing this pottery that's in the field sometimes. Especially when it's got this uh, gray and that blue one. It's really pretty right there. A couple pieces there. And uh, not sure what this is right here. That's like a little decorative piece off of a piece of furniture or something. And my regular trash over here. Didn't get all the trash. Big old big old uh, brass valve there but and these are the things we were playing with with these uh these guys here they shoot them with the guns there anyway we had a good time and uh we'll have to do it again fellas put it there bro all right let's do it again all right appreciate everybody coming along please click like comment below share and don't forget subscribe to the gig master